Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Triple I. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the information generally and specifically about the Australian University, how it feels to be an international student, basically stuck at home online learning, and surprisingly, it is precisely four months after I'm learning online, six. October to 6 January and I am currently right now preparing for my final exams which is held next week best luck for all of us and I know for sure that studying abroad being an overseas student is a privilege so I'm gonna share with you and stay tuned by the way it is actually for 15 minutes but yeah I think that 14 or 15 minutes before my next lecture so I gotta need to pack this clearly and compact comprehensively so I have this listed on my papers I'm not really famous so I got only a few questions but it's okay I'm going to cover up all and I hope this really helps you let's get straight into it okay going to the first question that I have and I have been questioning myself a lot since day one which is when will the Australian border open up sadly but truly Everything is so uncertain right now that we can't hope any further more But the only certain thing right now is that the border is still not open yet And yeah, just accept the reality and I'm also quite disappointed But I am really a positive and also really an optimistic person So I look forward to a hopeful future So I hope that 2021 will bring me to a bright future To a future a supposedly new environment that I need to leave. <laughs> okay, going straight away to the second question that I have here is how expensive your college fee or generally like studying abroad, how how expensive it is. Um I think that it actually makes sense to say that it is far, far much more expensive than studying in my own hometown which is Indonesia because firstly we have different currency value which is right now I've just googling it one Australian dollar is equal to 10,740 rupiah can you imagine one to 10,000 all right you can imagine how expensive it is to have that starting over there and second of all to seek into the measurement of how worth it or not like we need to measure based on the value the worth like do, uh, does this price, this high price, really reasonable or not for days online, off offline? So there are a lot of considerations, and just make sure that everything is worthwhile. Third of all, I also like to challenge myself. Like, okay, let's go to the top university where um, I acknowledge that I am privileged enough to study abroad. Therefore, I'm not going to waste it all. I'm going to share my experience. Therefore, it helps. And I hope that going to these top universities are not only about the certificates, about the signatures, uh, but the quality that we got because we pay much more money, right? So we get a better value. We expect that, right? So yeah, I hope that that is my mindset. Therefore, I am really thankful that I can get entered into University of Technology Sydney, which is one of the most the top university, the highest rank, the youngest university in Australia. Thirdly, uh, what apps do you use for the online learning? So primarily and generally we use the top three here which is the first one canvas where we got all our learning equipments like the resources, materials, what we are going to learn and the link for us joining the meeting or whatever it is. And also, second of all, the Microsoft Outlook, which is like the email, the message from the UTS universities or from the your lectures, from your tutors, uh, everything, which is, yeah, they email us through that or through Canvas, both also can. Thirdly, it is uh, Ring Central, which is our platform for like Zoom, but it is Ring Central, like a meeting for us to have our lectures. Going to the fourth question, so do you think that high college fee, it is worth it or not to be online? Do you do they provide scholarships when it is shifted online? So yeah, may, may, many people thought that being in, being online may get discounts, reduction, like a scholarship because you are online and then they also need to attract more 
customers, more students because they need to earn money, everything, everything and everyone needs money right now and it's pandemic, COVID-19, the financial crisis but in fact, the exactly because everyone needs money uh, the fact it is they put out all the scholarships and unfortunately we got no scholarships or reduction I got scholarships like what I mentioned in my previous previous videos and it's because of my scores and not because of this online and COVID-19 stuff so yeah we need to like understand both parties because everyone is money and just go with that we are contented with the high price and then we go online so make sure that you grab all the information all the knowledge to that for your high ma high price high fee high college fee it's all worthwhile make sure the fifth question here is how do the people behave uh, i think that what you mean by people is maybe the students of our australian societies uh, i'm not really sure about that because i didn't leave our social as much as what the online learning really give a hinders us to socialize much like when you done your online learning and then you just turn off sat down your laptop and then you didn't really go hang out really go to a cafe where you can chit chat with your friends or walking to, the, to your dorm and chit chat like what you would do when you were online but therefore i think that being online one of the social costs is that right it reduces the opportunities for us to get get well known get no well to each other get no no well to each other yeah that is that is it yeah i think that for me personally online has been quite worthwhile because we have set like orientation week we have gathered all together and i see that i see that this university also put a lot of efforts and that is a unique selling point of them like they, they really provide infrastructure and really provide surveys like how do we do we can we improve and fix the problems that you have so therefore we can feel comfortable and we can understand understand the whole the entire process of online learning and make sure that we are comfortable and feel that this online learning is worthwhile yeah so far so good like this past four weeks i couldn't believe that i have been passing these four months and i'm all good like i'm really fine with the subjects i can grab all the knowledge and understand everything and it's just easy for you to just chit chat and email with your tutors or lectures a uh, sixth one i think they asked about how is the teaching method mm, so in this UTS college where we haven't gone to the universities which is the second semester this diploma i think that we are more likely to be closer to the teachers to the lecturers and tutors because we are just freshmen right and then they are just getting this and that a lot of instructions so therefore you just don't go clueless or really really blind about the instructions or the learning objectives because they provided a clear vision and mission that they stayed out like this is what we are going to learn and you are if you do not understand then you may blah 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 and blah so you are not trapped you are not clueless although you might think that you are alone because you do not have any friends right when you are online learning because not everyone think about socializing so much because this is quarantine and everybody just sat down the laptop and then go with the family and at home play games and do not really care about the university's friends and if you're clueless at your first, first time trying out the canvas the applications that they use like the ring central the microsoft outlook that is totally fine i myself also personally really really stuck and really close i like i'm really you know i was really panicked oh oh no how is it how is it when will i start my lesson like especially when we have time gaps for like four hours i need to really schedule out what time precisely and happily i can survive and probably i always waking up earlier than the alarm clock that is how really like self-motivated because i have the force inside of me that keeps me going uh, energetic and really happy about this life really happy about this online learning so go for it 
don't feel discouraged and the seventh question what are the pros and cons of online learning ah this is a great question because i've been considering these a lot and this might be the first question that you would ask when you doubt and question whether you would step into online or not and uh, fortunately and luckily i can say that i made the right decision because this is uncertain until right now the border is still not open yet so if i was waiting for the border is open then i would wait for the rest of my life i i'm not sure about this uncertain this so the pros here i think the first one is Online learning giving you the opportunities for you to have one-on-one -on -one learning because this is just a flat platform now. Everybody can see you, especially in the laptop, in a the big screen, and then you can see exactly the face because we are all required to have our video on. Otherwise, we are marked absent. You can see your friend's face, although it is a sleepy faces or whatever. You can see your tutors and lecturers' face and you can chat them privately and that gives you the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one session like a learning session when you are an introvert you can ask questions privately without like imagine that you are offline and then you are an introvert you sit behind and you just wave your hand i bet that you do not have any confidence to wave your hand or is it your first time going to the universities, meeting new friends and then you are doubting yourself and you feel so maybe like being discriminated or you feel so not confident like that and online learning gives you confidence although some people might think that it is not worthwhile and it might cause you really boring or whatever but no Second of all, the benefits of online learning, I think that it is efficient because everything is just done in one platform. Like being, I know this is also a contradiction, but that is also a pro insight if you really examine that. When I'm putting myself online learning, I can do whatever I want in this laptop. Like every task, request task, examinations, everything is online just using that laptop and you didn't spend your time in transportation and just whatever to get ready to the class and that is a time saving and the cons is yeah you didn't really social much because people didn't really care second of all maybe it's more about a not the degree of control like if you do not have any self-motivated if you are not self-motivated if you are uh, getting the energy from outsiders getting the energy from friends online learning might not be the best option for you because you feel very boring you feel very exhausted although i myself also feel that way because it's just so exhausted exhausting like if you keep on being exposed to the screen light it is exhausting especially when i also did editing and did a lot of stuff in front of my screen uh, and the most important thing right here is we have time gaps i i'm not sure this is a pro or this is a cause for me that is a pro pro because waking up earlier in the morning gives me like an additional hours for just living the life you know when you are waking up early you feel like you have a lot hours a lot of more hours to do the thing like if you waking up earlier than other people i woke up the first time i woke up for my online learning is 2 22 a.m like crazy like everybody is like how, how can you study at that time <laughs> i'm not sure about it but i'm really really enthusiastic and really energetic because i'm really happy to get into online and studying abroad is just my dream since i was a kid so i got into it and i actually like i always waking up before my alarm clock and that really shows my interest in learning online I, i'm not sure about that but yeah i still pro into offline <laughs> because i wanna social much i wanna hang out i wanna just have whatever the social education. Oh, alarm clock is tickling. It means that my online learning starts in five minutes. Okay, let's get into the last question and we are going to close this video. Do you 
prefer offline or online? Like what I've mentioned before, like online has been quite a great way. Online has given me the opportunities and given me efficient way for me to do all the stuff. But, but, however, I still, if you ask me to choose, I still choose offline because I need to. The, the idea to study abroad is to live in a different, totally different background, in a new cultures, new societies, and that is the idea of studying abroad, I think. It's not only about like the universities or the systems that they have in their learning situations, but also the environments that make a lot of changes, because studying abroad really enhance your independence for me personally, independence and just how you react to life and how you really live life alone, independently. So yeah, uh, I think that that is the last question and I'm going to close my video because it is 3 minutes before my next lectures and I am right now preparing for my final exam, which is held next week. Best luck for all of us, and don't feel discouraged. Let your hope and dreams drive you. See you on our next videos, and bye bye. If you wanna support us, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button. And if I didn't answer completely your answer, your, your questions, feel free to just comment down below, and I would be very very happy to reply you. See you on our next videos and see you again. Bye-bye.